Good morning, Diesel. How you doing, buddy? How you doing? <laughs> hey, 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 stay over here, bud. Come here. Come this way. Come on. Nice see if this over here first. Very nice grass they got here. Very nice. I have myself a little morning snack. What's in here? So Diesel is trained to uh, do his number two, do his business in the long grass. Which is very handy. It's much better than having poop all over the open space where people walk and play and stuff. So he takes care of it in the bush and then I don't have to take care of it. It's his problem. Well, not my problem. It's fertilizer from Mother Earth. Right, Diesel? Absolutely. So we didn't film yesterday. We had a day off at home. It was very nice. And then in the evening we left and we got here between Portugal Prairie and Brandon to the co-op. Uh, what town is this in again? It's just like just barely past Portage La Prairie headed west. We still have about a 12 hour drive to get to Calgary or Okotoks where we're delivering today. I keep saying Calgary, but it's actually Okotoks. It's south of Calgary. It's not in the city. And then after we deliver in Calgary tomorrow, I have to go up north to Edmonton, pick up a load there, and then book it back home so that my truck can get a safety. And we're gonna go home for a while, right Diesel? We're gonna be home for a, a lot longer than I expected at first, but I'm welcoming it because it's summertime, the weather's great, I got a lot of stuff to get done at home, and it'll be nice to just be home for a while. I mean, even if the bank isn't very happy about it, it is what it is, I'll be happy about it. So in the meantime, Diesel <laughs> needs to stretch his legs before we get going. I got here at about, just before 2 a.m. last, no, 2 a.m.? Yeah, yeah, I think it was around, no, it was around 1 a.m. I think that I got here last night, central time. I got a pretty good sleep, I think. It is hot right now. Woo. Feels like I'm in Georgia, but really I'm in Manitoba, in Canada. This is our summer season. And you gotta enjoy every single day of it because it's so short. It's only gonna be around for a couple of months and then before you know it, you know, we're not going to speak of that. So, Diesel, you just going to sniff around a little bit? You almost done? Think we can get going soon or what? The nice thing about being up here in Canada and up in the northern climates is that uh, in this long grass here, there's no poisonous snakes or anything going to jump out at Diesel. Uh, I can't let them just wander into the long grass like that further south because of I don't know what's in there. Snakes, bugs, critters that want to kill you. Up here, like in Manitoba, it gets so cold in the wintertime that anything that would be poison enough, poisonous enough to kill you, it dies in wintertime. So they don't survive up here. So the worst thing that's in here is ticks. And tick season's over. That's more in the beginning of the year. So right now, pretty much, it's uh, mosquitoes. It's mosquito season here. As you can tell, there's one flying around my camera right now. But now he's got his tick prevention medicine inside him, so what that does is when a tick bites him, it actually kills the tick and they just fall off. But I, I always check them for ticks anyways. Uh, you gotta be careful because of Lyme disease that's passed through wood ticks and it's passed through mosquitoes as well. Yeah, it's not fun. It's not fun. I know some people who, who unfortunately have Lyme disease and it's, it's not fun. So he's gotta check yourself and make sure that uh, you don't want the ticks to latch on and uh, you know, possibly spread something to you. But this time of year, I mean, in springtime, we had tons of ticks at home, tons. But now I, this month I've seen like one. Anyways. Should we get to trucking or what?
I'm getting a spanking over there on that side of the highway. But a very bad boy. Going too fast. You know, it's tempting, I'm sure. These highways are long and straight and boring. It's tempting to just see how fast your vehicle can go. I know how fast mine can go. I'm doing my top speed right now. Pedal to the metal. Can't go any faster than this. 101 big ones. Or 62 big ones if you're speaking American. That's all I can do. So we just passed Moose Jaw. I stopped in there for a coffee, a little bit of a break, let the weasel out, groomed him because he's he's hairy, he's starting to shed a bit again, so gotta groom him. Now he's all shiny. I won't have to vacuum every 10 minutes. Other than that, this is what I've been looking at all day, so this is why I haven't been talking much. Uh, what you see is what you get. Saskatchewan. This is where your food comes from. Not only do we feed Canada with this food, we feed a lot of the world with it. And it's a beautiful day on the prairies. We're just about to the border with Alberta and Saskatchewan here. Just sailing across the flatlands. Got another four and a half hours to go or so. We're not gonna go the whole way. I've only got three and a half hours left on my clock, so we can't go all the way. Uh, I'll probably go up to Brooks, or uh, I don't think I'll quite make it to Strathmore. I don't know if Strathmore's on my route, actually. Might be, I'll probably go to Brooks or something like that, Brooks, Alberta. Let's stop at the Flying J there. We're just gonna stop for a quick eight hours and then continue on because the sooner I get unloaded tomorrow, the sooner I can go get reloaded, the sooner I can make my way home. Looking forward to spending some good time at home. I, I told you already, right? Oh, we got that pump, so we're gonna we're gonna work with our pond a little bit this week and get that done. Do the drywall inside our house uh, to finish up that door installation. Finish that all off nicely. And maybe we'll get started, or maybe we'll continue on the uh, master bedroom renovation a little bit. Not too sure yet. We'll see what happens. I know on the weekend we're going to the beach. So if I don't get to swim in our pond, at least I'll get to go swim in the lake. Kind of itching to get in the water already. I love, I love swimming, especially in the hot days. Nothing beats just jumping in the lake. Here we are coming up to Alberta. Beautiful, wonderful, Alberta. Everything in Alberta is great. You know that? Everything. You know, if I didn't have my whole family and life tying me down to southern Manitoba, Crossing border, I'd be in Alberta. Alberta time zone. We were already in mountain time zone, Karen, come on. It's a nice place to be out here. But we put our roots down in Southern Manitoba, and Southern Manitoba is just as nice as Alberta. I love Southern Manitoba. It's just, uh, all of Alberta is sort of like Southern Manitoba. It's all nice. <laughs> and they got everything here. I mean, they got the prairies here that we're on here. You go further west, you get to the Rocky Mountains. You can go skiing, snowboarding down the slopes of the mountains in Western Alberta. You can go up north to the forests, you got the oil fields up there. You got more agriculture up there. It goes all the way up to the territories. It's always something to do in Alberta. Oh good, they changed their flags. It's about time. Both those flags were all tattered and faded last time I went past here. Good. Well, I'm deciding to shut down earlier than I thought. I'm gonna stay here in Medicine Hat, Flying J. It's about nine o'clock, 9 p.m. right now. 
So that means I can get going at around 5 a.m. And I'll be in Calgary for 8. And I think my appointment's at 8.30. And this way, first thing in the morning, I can get a good coffee. And I'll be nice, wide, and awake by the time I get to my delivery, not just waking up. And I'm kind of tired today already, so... I'm gonna pull into the Flying J and find us a parking spot. Looks like it's kind of full already, yikes. There's a lot of people here. That is the weekend, that's why everybody is probably here waiting to deliver tomorrow morning. I see that there's still plenty of parking. I usually don't have to worry about finding parking in Western Canada. It's only in the east, like the eastern US, east of the Mississippi, and eastern Canada, like Toronto and east. You gotta worry about not being able to find a parking spot after 6 p.m. there, but out west here, there's usually plenty of parking. Doesn't look like it's any exception today, so. Lots of spots available back there. It's usually not even this full. This is actually pretty full. People are parked along the driveway here already. I'm just gonna thread the needle through the pumps here. And go find us a spot. creep through here. Don't want to hit anybody. Oh yeah, lots of parking. Look at that. Well, Diesel. <sighs> I know today was a bit of a short video. Not much to show you. Not every day can be exciting. But I hope you'll join us tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll be up to a little bit more than just driving across flat land. Got to deliver this freight, go pick up new freight. So there's something going on tomorrow. I hope you join us for that. Uh, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. Most of my videos are a little bit more exciting than this, but I do a video every sing almost every single day, so not every day can be too exciting, but I, I appreciate you being here anyways. Uh, if you guys are on Parlay, uh, I've made a new social media account on Parlay. You can search for me there. It's Josh TJV or at Josh TJV. You can find me there if you want. It's a new social media site. I'm getting sick of Twitter, and uh, there's just nothing good on Twitter. It hasn't been for a very long time. I'm still on Facebook. Facebook is my main platform that I use, but I figured I'd uh, give Parlay a shot. It's spelled P-A-R-L-E-R. -E it's actually pretty cool. It's like it's like Twitter, but better. Uh, but we'll see. I'm still on Twitter too. I mean, I'm I'm just gonna have all three. We'll see what happens. If you are on Parlay already, you can find me there. I post my videos there every day. And if you found me through there, hey, welcome. I'm also on Facebook and Twitter. <laughs> we'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm tired. I'm going to bed.